pick her up. Pick her up too. It's the presence of God on these people. Beautiful, isn't it? Yes. Some of you here are seeing angels in this room. Some of you are seeing angels here. Some of you are smelling the fragrance that I talked about earlier. So the Spirit of God told you to what now? Well, this, this morning I was, I just felt in the service, I felt this rush of wind. It was like that. Lady, I feel a rush of wind right now. <laughs> Dear God, I feel that anointing. Whoa. Pick it up quickly. Dear Jesus, I give you praise for this. I give you praise for this. I feel such a rush of wind here. These guys don't know what's around here till it hits them. <laughs> Satan cannot be here tonight. There's too much power in this place. He, like a coward, just walked out of here. Pick him up. Dear Jesus, dear Jesus, dear Jesus, dear Jesus. Oh. Nobody catches, nobody, nobody catches it. Pastor, she was a marvelous anointing here, Brock. That's marvelous. That's marvelous here, as a prop. Somebody shall hallelujah. Bring it. Yeah, tell me. She was a nurse. A nurse. She was a nurse. A nurse. What caused her erectoiditis was a patient who grabbed her violently and pulled her down. That's why she's been suffering for the last 10 years. But I'm telling you, tonight, today, tonight, all, all of the pain has left her body. Her husband said, whatever she did around the house, she did in pain. If she took a step, it was in pain. If she stood up, it was in pain. But all the pain is gone. Lady, come on. Come on. She was in the schooner. Come on. come on. She was in pain. Yes, she was for 10 years. 10 years. That's right. And now look at her. You got a new wife. <laughs> Praise the Lord. What church you go to? Well, Father? River of Life. River of Life what? Grant, Oklahoma. It's charismatic. You go to church? No, I'm not. <laughs> I thought so. You look like a non-church goer. <laughs> now you better start going to church. Take him to church with you. Drag him to church. Come here, sir. You non-church, you goer, you. <laughs> Fix him good from the top of his head to the soul. Lord, May he go to church so much, his wife will get tired of it. Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, there goes the anointing on you, my friend. There goes the anointing on you. Dear Jesus, thank you. Oh. Now pick him up and give her back her handkerchief. Take your seat. Jesus, I just want to thank you. Choir, you may be seated. Not ensemble, remain standing, please. Jesus. I just want to thank you. There is such an anointing here. Dear God, dear God, dear God, there's such an anointing. Henry, it is glorious. It is glorious. <laughs> 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 
He went, Benny. And he's on the floor doing this to me. Benny, what? 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 Oh, Benny. That's the glory of God here. That's pick him up. What do you feel on? I didn't told you not now. <laughs> but that, that's the presence of God on you, Henry. Don't you understand? Yes. He says to me tonight, he says, whatever is on you, I want it. Now he doesn't. Yeah. She had a tumor. She looked like she was six months pregnant. They were going to operate on her. The tumor is shrinking tonight. Lady, there's enough power here to kill any tumor. Any tumor. And I just want to praise. Touch in Jesus' name. Lift. Look at her laughing under the anointing. Pick, pick it up. God is filled with the Holy Spirit. Is this marvelous? Oh, it's wonderful. I thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, I thank you. That's right. This is glorious. Exo. See now the tumor doesn't matter now. God has filled you with the with, with his spirit. You don't even care. <laughs> they come up thinking about sickness and God fills them so much they forget all about it. Pick her up. What do you feel on you? Oh, the glory. That's right, that's the glory. That's the glory. Pick up the husband. Praise us to your name. What church you go to? We go to a. We've been being mentored by a church in Fayetteville right now to start a ministry in our city. You're going to start a ministry? Then you, you need some of this anointing, my friend. You need some of this anointing. You're going to start a ministry, you can't without the anointing. The, the glory of God is on that lady's face. Look at that, so beautiful. Pick her up so I can talk to her about her problem now. Whatever problem she had is gone. Lady. Yes, sir. You're gone. Yeah, it's wonderful. It's Tell the people what it's like under the anointing heaven on earth there's nothing like it God has healed me I know it I know it I know it I shall live and not die and I shall declare the works of God I have a purpose I have a destiny in him and Satan is not going to take it from me I've got two children to raise I've got a wonderful husband and I've got a purpose in God that's it I'm going to do it and nothing is going to stop me Nothing in the name of Jesus is going to stop me from serving God the rest of my life. Come on, people, give the Lord a mighty hand. Pastor, Pastor, God healed my grandmother after 10 years of emphysema. He was so excited about it. His grandmother's been suffering for 10 Mother, years with you. emphysema. And tonight, she came out of a wheelchair, been in it for two years. He was not her armor bearer, he was her oxygen bearer. But when the power of God touched her tonight, he told his grandmother, I'm going to go sell this oxygen and keep the money. Amen. And she said, the Lord touched her tonight. She can breathe freely. And Cody wanted to tell you about it. Cody, honey, I'm glad you, you came up and told me about your grandma getting healed. <laughs> Are you enjoying it? Yeah. Oh, dear Jesus, thank you. So, Grandma, God healed you. He sure did. Breathe in. Steps. I run up the steps there just now, and I couldn't do it before. Thank God. Look at the anointing on him. Look, look, look at that. Look at his face. Isn't it beautiful? Pick him up. What's happened to you? I don't know. 
Can you describe it? No. Just feels good? Yes. How old are you? Eleven. That's my boy's age. Why, why do you guys do this to your hair? My Joshua does that to his hair. Look at that boy, you got the gel real thick on that thing. Yeah, thanks. Glory. Susu, talk to me. She had arthritis and it was in so much pain she could hardly walk. When you mentioned arthritis, the pain totally left her body and she was able to walk all over the place. Before she couldn't even walk to you without the pain. I got to pain. meet you. <laughs> I've been watching you for a long time. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Look at that, Steve Brock. Pastor. Isn't this wonderful? Awesome. You want to say hi to Steve? Yeah. I've been watching him and listening to you sing for a long time. Well, not Steve. that long. <laughs> Now what, now, what did she say? She said she'd been watching me for a long time. Well, you are an old man. <laughs> I, uh, you're not, you aren't that old. Steve. See there? You're not that old. No, no, of course not. Look at how good you're walking now. That's marvelous. Jesus, what can I say but thanks? I love this anointing. Yeah. Pastor. We've talked many times about creative miracles. Yes, sir. We in have. 1992, this lady was operated on. She had an ovary that was atrophied. The other ovary was not functioning. They took out, in 1992, both of her ovaries. In 1998, the lady, the lady in February 1998, you had a crusade in Mexico. She came to be prayed for. A few days later, she went to the doctor, and the doctor said, Who told you you had no ovaries? God created ovaries in her body. And you see the results. Two of them. Two of them. Passed since 1998. These two beautiful children have been born to this family. They are from Veracruz, Mexico. They do not speak any English at all. Where's my interpreter? Come on, brother. This gentleman can interpret for us. Well, you told me the story. That's amazing. It's astounding. A and there's proof she had no ovaries before that? Absolutely. There was proof? Proof? Sí, a mí me lo entregaron en un recipiente porque cuando me lo cortaron ya mediado pesaba 2 kilos 900 gramos. Her ovary was given to her in a container. Wait, they gave her her ovaries in a container? That's correct. They took him out. Se le, le sacaron su ovario. Me lo sacaron, me lo dieron a mí. Yes. Estaba un, así de grande. Yes. Había crecido. Por eso me lo estirparon. They took her ovary out because it had a growth. And they gave her, after the surgery, the ovary in a container. They took the ovaries out because of the growth in it, or one of them, or both? One was atrophied and the other one had a growth. And they gave it to her, and then she came to a service after that. In 1998, February of 1998. See? Where? Where in Mexico? ¿Dónde? ¿Dónde en México? En México, en la Ciudad de México, en, en la, la Ciudad de los Deportes estuvo usted orando por los enfermos. Mexico. Oh, Mexico City, when, when we came to Mexico City, in that big stadium, I remember that. So the Lord gave you new ovaries in the, sta in the crusade. Que el Señor le dio nuevos ovarios en la cruzada. It's amazing. El lunes, yo, usted oró por mí el sábado y el lunes yo tenía cita con el doctor. On Saturday, you prayed for her on the crusade. On Monday, she went to the physician. And that's where the physician gave her the report. Who told you that you do not have an ovary? She was given the ovary. This, this was on Sunday you prayed, and on Monday the miracle happened. That is absolutely remarkable. And now you have two precious children. Oh, dear God. Thanks. Watch the baby. She's just staring at me when I pray for her mother, you know. Yes, you see, this is amazing. This almost, you know, that is amazing, really. This is awesome. This is awesome. Do you know? <laughs> Do you know what I'm feeling? I believe in miracles. We're seeing one right here. I've seen a soul set free. Come here, James. Come here. 
miraculous, the changing one. Come on, Karen, come here, Lisa. Come here, Lisa. to move from what I am. Pastor, fibroid tumors, she said this, you called out tumors, she felt them all go away. Heat came on her body. God's going to use both of you in a great ministry. Great ministry. Great ministry. That is marvelous here. What happened? You said Jesus was walking up and down the aisles. This lady is from Portugal. She did not understand the language, but she fell back. The power of God came on her tonight. The pain is totally gone. She's able to move her neck. And she had cancer in the breast. Portuguese. Brazil, you're from Brazil, South America. She did not understand when I said Jesus is walking by your aisle, but she felt him, felt his presence. I felt the fire of the Lord on the, the back of her neck where the cancer used to be. And she was, she had uh, her breast uh, take off and she was not able to lift up her arms and her arm and now she can lift up her, her arms. Without Tell pain. me in Portuguese what happened. Repete para ele o que foi que você falou para mim em português. Eu falei que na hora que estava olhando, orando, <laughs> do poder de Deus. Eu senti muita alegria, eu caí e senti sua vontade de chorar, de sorrir. I felt so much the power of the Lord that I felt so much happiness. And uh, and I could cry, I could not stop to cry, I feel happy and I could for the first time lift up my arms without pain. What was wrong with her again? She had breast cancer and she had surgery. <laughs> Lady, I can tell you this. The cancer in your body is dead. Touch from the top of her head to the soul of her feet. That's marvelous. That's 
It's marvelous. Ooh. She's laughing. Some of you are getting a vision right now. Lift, 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 lift your hand as quickly. Some of you are, 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 the Lord is showing you a vision. Some of you here are seeing angels in this room. Some of you are seeing angels here. Some of you are smelling the fragrance that I talked about earlier. Beautiful. Hallelujah. 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 Pick her up. Pick her up too. the presence of God on these people. Beautiful, isn't it? Yes. Somebody reverently say, praise the Lord. The glory of God is just all over here. Pastor, this lady here was in three car accidents. This is her family. They were sitting way up in the last row, up there. They began feeling the power of God. She told me she, her bones began cracking, and now her neck is all healed. She's free. She can touch her toes. Family are amazed that God has healed her tonight. They felt Jesus way up there in the, in the last row up there. Jesus so what was wrong with you again I've uh, I in, in three different car accidents and each one of them they told me that I had problems with my neck and my lower back and that that I was gonna have surgery and every time I would tell them no because Jesus was gonna heal me <laughs> and he healed me tonight <laughs> your husband your kids, your husband. Yes. What was how how bad was it? Tell me again, please forgive me, honey. I'm I, I'm 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 I didn't even hear half of what you said. One more time. C six in my in my neck is gone. They said it, the liquid's out of it. There's nothing left there. But I could do this. <laughs> Woo. Before. She couldn't do that before. I would have to do a lot of the housework and different things because physically she couldn't do it. She would hurt all the time. She couldn't move. She was. Have your wife do something in front of us that she there's no way she could have done before. She, she couldn't touch the floor. She could bend down. She could do that. There's no way. There's no way. <laughs> I want you to stand and look up and give him a mighty hand of adoration, a mighty hand of praise, the one who is worthy of all glory. Oh my God. Oh my God.
This will be the new move. What you're seeing tonight, that's what's coming. This crusade in Dallas, Texas, He's changing things. He's changing things. People, can you please give him a shout of hallelujah? Please, it is over.